What's the one pack that everybody needs to own? The new redesign of the Kelty Red Wing 50, I believe, is that pack. This pack has so much different diversity and capability, regardless if it's a light day hike and you're just gonna cinch everything down, or it's a multi-day backpacking trip and you can pack ultralight, or even backpacking through Europe, or just long adventures. This has the capability to fill multiple roles, and I believe it is a pack that everyone should own if they are gonna be doing adventures and need to carry gear. So why don't you hit the trail with me? We'll take a look at this thing, tear it apart, show you the ins and outs and why I love this pack and I believe it's the pack that everyone should own. So we're gonna hit some specs here with you on the bag. Now this is an internal frame that is an aluminum frame and we'll get to that in a little bit as we discuss how this support system works. The total capacity is 51 liters, which is uh, cubic inches of 3,100. Now the weight, which is great, it's gonna come in at under four pounds. So this is three pounds, 11 ounces, or 1,497 grams. Now this will fit torso measurements of 15.5 inches to 21 inches. And this is made out of a 420 polyester denier fabric. And then the basic dimensions for you as well is going to be 26 in inches from top to bottom, 16 inches wide, and then uh, 12 inches deep. So one of the best parts about this pack for me is its comfortability as well as its torso length. This is a larger pack for sure on its body size. And so I'm 6'2", I weigh about 215. I'm a big guy. This thing fits fantastic with room to spare and it can go down quite a lot lower. So those of you with shorter, smaller torsos will have that availability as well. But man, it just carries the load so well. And we've been rocking about 30 to 40 pounds on a daily basis when we go out and use this. And this can definitely distribute that load carry easily without any sort of pain and you're even seeing some shots throughout this video of my uh, cameraman brian he's six six and he carried it and he loved it off right there and then the same concept for a uh, bark a uh, bark roll on that hole He loves it so much at 6'6 and fits him so well, regardless for that day pack idea or a light um, backpacking trip, if you can you know, pack ultra light, uh, it has that capability and its comfortability is just insane with the perfect fit. So let's go ahead and look at actually that perfect fit system and how that all plays together to make it so comfortable on your body. So the perfect fit system is this new system that they're using on their Kelties and particularly on the 50 here. And the first aspect of it is that this material is super comfortable, lots of comfortable points that don't put pressure on your back, but kind of contour around your spine. They are going to give you a little bit of airflow. We talk about this all the time that you're always going to have some, you know, sweat on your back. So I mean, just be ready for that, but very porous and it's not going to uh, hold on to that sweat. You're going to let it breathe real quick when you take it off, which is awesome. So the perfect fit system is where your shoulder straps are attached to this panel back here that you see sliding up and down. So depending on your size of body, if you're smaller, you have it down here and it's tightened or loosened by these straps down here. So if you're a shorter person, you'll have it cinched down. Myself and my buddy Brian, who are larger guys, have it all the way maxed out, but it works fantastic. And it's this sliding piece that's not removable. It's just in there and it gives the perfect fit. There's no like stair pieces, you know, and you're wishing you kind of had like a middle ground. It's all smooth, all perfect to get you that perfect fit on your back.
So the yoke and the shoulder straps themselves are an, another huge part that make this just such a comfortable bag, even with those like 30, 40 pound loads that we've been carrying. The first off are those shoulder strap compressions. That's gonna bring the top of the bag up onto your shoulders. They have those on either side, which is fantastic. Then into the shoulder straps themselves, which are wide, but have that same breathable material that's very soft but still has a lot of support in there for the bag uh, for the bag and it's got that nice you know swoop s design that most packs do nowadays coming down into your next compression strap right here that cinch it down nice and tight and so i like that aspect a lot just flowing really nicely along with your sternum strap now the sternum strap has the track system, which I'm not a giant fan of because they tend to kind of wobble and slide over time, but this is a really thick track and you really got to work on this thing. You basically got to use two hands and really fight with it to adjust it to where you need it to. So it's doable. I would have liked to have a staircase track system instead um, where you have loops that you loop, feed it through and you find your right fit and then you leave it there. Um, but uh, this is doable and fits well on our bodies and the, the two of us being larger. So it's not high and, you know, like choking us out. And on the belt itself, we have this secondary compression that you pull the bottom of the bag up against the bottom of your back. So you're having that working on both your shoulders and your butt, which is awesome. There's a lot of wasted space here. I would have liked to see a pouch or something like that that we could put, you know, granola bars, cell phones, that type of things in. Uh, so that I feel is a little bit of a waste of space. But then over here, we have our V style, which are awesome. Uh, waist belt attachment here. So you pull forward towards yourself and cinch it down. This is a great way to help support that weight. And this hip belt is fantastic. Helps distribute the load so nicely and carry it on your hips instead of on your shoulders so you can go miles and miles with heavy loads. So throughout this video, you've seen this pretty maxed out, stuffed out, fully expanded. Now we're going to look at it if you slim it down nice and slim, like a 30 liter day pack. And there's really what this looks like. That is done by the fact that it's nice and there's no rigid sides. You know, it's all flexible. And the four compression points. We have one down here and they have little elastic keepers so that we could roll this all the way up and keep it out of the way so it's not flapping all over the place. Then we have our points up here and those are on all four sides. And you can see how slim it now is. It still can carry... The water bottles still do everything that we want it to but now i can use this as a day bag versus like a multi-day bag and now it's ultra light and slim so now i'm ready to hit a summit when i leave all my gear at base camp and i can do this very easily price on this guy is very reasonable as well. You're looking at between $125 and $140. We'll have links in the description below over to Amazon. That's always a great way to help support the channel and help us purchase gear just like this one to do videos for you guys. But for that price point, we're getting the capability to either cinch this thing down and have a lightweight day pack or really expand this out to that 50 liters so that we can do a lot of larger treks and heavier gear and that type of a thing. Whereas there are plenty of, you know, just day packs that can can go between 100 and 150 bucks uh, so that's very reasonable i believe for the capability of either a small pack in the sense of its volume or a large pack that this offers you there are a few different color combinations as well this is the black i believe they have a red blue and a kind of seafoam green so very reasonable though i believe for the materials and the layout and the comfortability that this pack offers so over the last model, they've cut down on some of the weight by going to a 420 denier nylon. Uh, and I can tell that it's a little more of a, a sheen and a little bit lighter weight than my last version of the Red Wing 50 that I owned. So they cut down on some of the weight, which is a good thing, but they've also cut down in a couple areas trying to cut down on weight that I feel like they should not have skimped on. The first are the clips. These clips are very lightweight and a little too thin for my taste. Now they're pretty flexible. I'm not too concerned about them, but you know, if you stepped on them while you took it off, you know, you, you took a break, you took your pack off, and you accidentally stepped on something, you could easily snap these off. So that's something where I see that they kind of cut corners a little bit, did the same. They're not just quite as heavy duty as the last version on these clips. I would have liked them to keep the more heavy duty industrial strength clips on the pack and that's as well on the compression straps all of them are just a little too lightweight for my taste are they strong enough to last a while sure but i'm just not as comfortable as i would like to be with their density the other aspect is the bottom of the bag. It's the same thickness as all the rest of it. I would have liked to see a reinforced bottom would have helped with that, particularly with the Molly that we've looked at and that you might be carrying heavier loads there. Uh, you know, and something sharp in the bottom of your bag could easily puncture it. Or if you put it down on like a piece of wood that's really sharp, it could puncture the bottom. So I would have liked to see some reinforcement in the bottom of the bag as well. But the overall now lightweight capability and just cutting down on the overall weight makes it an overall great bag for that crossover between a light day hike 
and a heavy duty, you know, multi-day backpacking backpack. So, you know, there are some compromises, but overall it is a package worth owning and worth having. For organization, you have a huge admin pouch. We got our two YKK zippers here that run the length of the bag. Open this thing up, huge, deep, tons of organization, including a fleece line pouch for your tablet. A new added feature for this design is the beaver tail stash pouch. You have three attachment points, including a aluminum G hook and then two compression straps. Open this bad boy up. We have a jacket in here, but you could easily, you can see how deep and large that is. Get a small one to two man tent in here, large tarp or other items that you would want to stow in here. We got our stash pocket on top. I love these type of pockets. It makes it very easy to get stuff like beanies, gloves, that type of thing. Throw your cell phone, keys. It does have a key keeper and is a rather large compartment at the top of the bag. Great reinforced heavy duty grab handles. One at the top so you can even hang the bag fully loaded as long as your hook is strong enough. As well as a hideaway back handle here so if you're pulling it off of a luggage compartment or a luggage trolley, easy to grab on the back as well. This is one of my favorite features on the bag are these huge side pockets. Now this is big enough to hold a 32 ounce Nalgene, so all kinds of different gear. You got this side zipper right here. We got that jacket that we just had a moment ago. Giant compartment. And the best part is it's pass through. So you can see here that you can run tripods, which is usually what I do, hatchets, I mean, you name it, through there, and it will even feed straight down into the water bottle pouch. Now the water bottle pouches are mesh. They're pretty lightweight. This is another area where they cut down on weight and I would have liked to see it a little bit heavier duty. Now it'll hold your 32 ounce Nalgene's or much larger Nalgene's or other bottles and they'll just go underneath your pocket up here as you can see with this bottle, that pass through. But it's pretty open. There's no shock cord to cinch down and really keep your bottles. I would like to see that attached and added to in the future is around the neck. Give us a nice shock cord to keep our bottles and stuff from falling out. Now, as long as it's underneath this lip, it's not going anywhere, but it's a pretty loosey-goosey fit. Two more YKK zippers for the main compartment with these huge attachment loops. So even with gloves on, you know, if you're doing cold weather hiking, these are going to be able to fit through there and pull this open. Now, the way it's designed is that either you can make it a top loading when you're using the compression straps. And so it'll just open to the top. So boom, then you can get into everything or you can disconnect the compression straps altogether. And it'll open almost to a full clamshell so you can get huge access to your gear inside. On the interior here, first off, we have behind this little lip, we have our panel as well as a stick of aluminum that runs through there. So it's a nice rigid frame that you could pull out if you needed to for some reason, clean the bag or something like that. Over here are our two water bladder attachments. I don't like these because they don't connect together. So you got to hook it onto one side of the bladder and it just kind of hangs there. Or you got to come up with kind of some jerry rig system of like paracord or something and then hook your water bladder in the center. So that's one complaint that I have as well as the port for the water bladder is right here and it's really narrow. So, I mean, you're, you're going to be fighting with it. It'll go through there obviously, but you're going to fight with it. It will carry bladders obviously even up to hundred ounces, but it's just not quite as intuitive as I would like. This sleeve can also work as a laptop sleeve we have this little tab here to keep your laptop from falling out and this is reinforced with some foam inside so it's a very comfortable setup and it's far away enough off the ground that if you were to drop the bag you're not going to damage your uh, laptop right away and here as you can see guys just a huge dump pocket i mean you can easily get food a couple changes of clothes a sleeping bag in here no problem or multiple layers of clothes whatever you need to do this face portion right here is kind of a waste of space i would have liked to see a velcro or excuse me a zipper pouch in here just mesh you know that we could throw a couple more items that we want to organize in right here so this would have been nice to see some more organization so folks, there you have it. I hope this video has shown you what the Kelty Red Wing 50 is offering, why I believe it's a great kind of do everything backpack, lightweight day hikes or multi-day backpacking or just carrying a ton of gear on travel, whatever it may be. I think this pack has got it dialed in and I love it. So I thank you guys so much for coming over here, checking out the channel. Please subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. I'll answer any comments or questions that you may have in the comments below. Uh, check us out on all the relevant social media as well. It's a great way to see what's up and coming. And always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.